Welcome back everyone. We're here been harvesting this morning. Justin and I doing some green beans right now. Last harvest because we're going to put these uh, beds to bed. And uh, we've had a lot of tomatoes already, peppers, they're the green beans. And so we're about good, aren't we, Justin? Yeah, yeah, Tom's been putting me work all morning, all so. Right. Someone's got to work we're... around here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we're about ready to rip these guys out, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. I think it's time. Okay. We can go ahead and rip the base of them out. Yep. So all we're doing, we're going to clean Shake things that out. that off as much as possible. Yep. So there's the roots out there. We're going to compost those later yep, on. Take them to the compost bin. Yep. Last couple of years, we talked about potatoes. You did some last year. We know we both love potatoes. Yes, potatoes and, are great. And uh, we can't wait to see what we have down here. And so they're fun to do, because it's like Easter for adults. It is, right? it's great. Let's rip them up, let's see what All we got. Right. Look at that, woo! Oh yeah. Look at all these, woo! So if anybody asks if you can grow potatoes in raised beds, it's, it was super easy, right? I mean, it didn't take anything at all. No, We planted the, the seed potato, and then, uh, yeah, let us do its thing, make sure we water it. And again, we use the vegetable 301 in here. Yep. You know, to get starting out with nutrients. And good look at nutrient. some of the size of these guys. I mean, yeah. Typically, I don't normally see them that big. This is great. I'm going to leave the other ones in here a little bit longer for the yeah. other plants because there's a couple here that are still loose. And like at my house, when I grow potatoes, I just come out and pick them when I get home from work. Right. And put them right into, you know, whatever meal I'm preparing or cooking that night. That so fresh they stay food. fresh. Yeah, they stay fresh longer in here, you know, so. You can't beat that. That's why I'm going to say we're going to take some out, but not all, because if we can keep them going for a couple more weeks, why not, right? Keep them nice and fresh, go grab them for dinner. Can't beat that at any day. Now, so we're kind of in the way of processing this, this garden bed, but let's get to the next one. You okay. can really close out that one for this year. All right. And uh, this one, again, we already have lots of tomatoes and peppers. I'm going to take these guys up here. Just as we did before, they're all been harvested. So Justin, all our plants are gone now. We've got this just roughed up bed. Uh, what's the next step in closing it down? So the next step, um, so you can go on our website and there's a dairy dew calculator on there and we can do the length and the width of this bed. You wanna put dairy dew down a half inch thick now. You know, okay. we pulled all that nutrient out. When we pull that out, all the nutrient went with it. Yep. So we need to replenish that for next year. Gotcha. The other thing dairy dew will also do is all this thatch and you can see these, these roots here and stuff, that is not available to take out by the plant next year. What dairy do will do, the biology will go in there and break that plant tissue down, and then it'll release that nutrient so next year's roots can take it off. So a mini compost pile thing. Yeah, basically, Just breaks yeah, it down. Mother Nature doing what Mother Nature does best, right? Okay. We help her with the biology from the dairy do, and then to give it the extra nutrient kick that she needs, we'll put two pounds of healthy garden down on this bed too. We'll sprinkle it in, mix that in six, inch, six to eight inches. That's where our root zone's gonna be next year, and that'll really start the life of the bed going. You know, we're getting ahead of next spring. Gotcha, so let's put down the dairy do. All right. Help spread that out. There you go. Again, measure this out already, ready yep, to go. Yep, yep. We, we know what we need here, so now we just gotta mix this in. Yep. It's a little dirty work, but you know, that's what happens. Yeah, it's good to get dirty. A little, little healthy garden there too. Yep. And what's the difference between a vegetable bed and a flower bed, making close, closing it down for the year? Nothing's different. I would, um, this concept is the same in the soil, so it doesn't matter if you're growing the flower or if you're going uh, the vegetables. So okay. you can do the same concept with, with the flower bed. Sweet. So two pounds, we're gonna use, this is a four pound bag. We offer this in a 25 pound bag if you got a lot of area to cover, or a four pound bag if you got just a few raised beds. Awesome. But just two pounds is all we need, so half of that bag, and then we'll make sure we do a good job of spreading it out and working it in. This Perfect. is an organic material too, so you know it's really gonna help start driving that life where we're not hurting it or killing it. All right. Justin, looking pretty good, and you know next week, yeah, we're on the small scale here. Let's talk big scale. Farmers, how are they impacted by fertilizer prices, right? That's right. Our farmers are getting going now. We're excited. So, yep, it's a good time. All right, we'll catch you next week with those details.